What's up guys? It's your girl Em. How's it going? How you doing? I got my Hocus Pocus shirt on. So you know what that means? It means we're decorating. We're decorating for Halloween. Finally, usually I get my stuff up early. I love Halloween, but honestly, I haven't been into it this year. And I don't know what's going on with me. Like, I don't know why. You Halloween's like one of my favorite holidays. I'm a big holiday person, and I love decorating for the holidays. But th for whatever reason, I've been slacking. I haven't been into the Halloween spirit today. So I put the Hocus Pocus shirt on to, you know, kind of get me going. And I got all my Halloween decorations out. I didn't get any new Halloween things today, or I didn't get any new Halloween decorations uh, this year. But I think what I'm going to do in the next couple weeks or so, I'm going to go when everything's on sale, everything's picked over, and see if I can, you know, get some stuff for next year. Um, but I just wanted to put what I had up last year, kind of put that up, and I don't know. I, I, I haven't been with it this year, so I wanted to at least put my decorations from last year up just to maybe feel like a little bit better a little more in the spirit of the holiday i am drinking an iced coffee with pumpkin spice creamer and pumpkin flavored coffee so i'm in the spirit there but and my shirt the hocus pocus shirt but other than that i have not been in halloween spirit at all so i have my trusty polar bear here and let me just say okay this is like an old sweater that i cut i put this on him i can take it off now <laughs> he doesn't want it on he wants to be naked um little story about abel um his halloween collar from last year doesn't fit my baby got a little bit thick so his halloween collar is not fitting and I'm not going to talk about it anymore because he gets a little sensitive about it. But Abel is just going to be walking around naked this Halloween because his Halloween collar doesn't fit, unfortunately. I might get him a new one, but <laughs> my poor baby, his Halloween collar just does not fit. So we're not going to talk about it anymore because he's sensitive about it. But yeah, so here are my Halloween decorations. I have... This thing, this like cloth thing. I've got these little guys. Little. This had an owl and it had like a moon on it, but I don't know where that went. It fell off, I guess. In the storage, I got that little guy. We've got this web. I've got some spiders and bat garland. Uh, the spider garland, I was trying to untangle it but oh no please do not get tangled with these bats I was trying to get it untangled but it was just impossible to get it untangled so I ended up having to cut it so it's a lot shorter than it was last year okay I'm listen we're gonna have issues <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone I got this bat garland we've got some towels some little halloween towels a skeleton hand oh also ignore my dishes i'm gonna do those just ignore them okay please thank you don't be rude um and then i got this tablecloth i got garland honestly i don't even know okay i guess that's it I guess that's all I have. I thought I had more. I had these little guys that I cut off of the garland because I had to cut the garland. It was so tangled. Um, and I had way more of these that were already cut off, so I don't know where they went. I'm going to look for them, but honestly, I don't have high hopes. I'm, I think they're gone for good. And also, I realized there's like one strand of tape on here. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty much, I'm out of tape, basically, which is not helpful. We're, we're getting off to a rough start. I got my Halloween blanket out, but it's been out all year, baby. So, it's been out all year. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> this is going to be 
be the saddest little <laughs> gift. <laughs> Just the saddest uh, Halloween decorating video you've ever seen. Put this away because I don't need this. It's not summer anymore. It hasn't been summer for a while now, but we're just now getting with the program. So we're a little late over here. Um, I'm gonna kind of, oh, I forgot. I got a pumpkin here. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, give me a minute, I'm gonna start putting some stuff out and we're gonna see, we're gonna see. It's gonna come together, just have a little faith. Say a prayer for me. All right, here we go so far. Have the tablecloth, we got this little house thing that I found that I forgot I had with the ghosts and the pumpkin and the tree. And then I just put that spider web thing there. I wish I had something a little bit bigger to go here because this like wall is so huge. But for now, it's just gonna have to do. This is what we've got so far. And then I also put the towels there. And let's see what we can do with the rest. It's really not that much left. All right guys, so I added these little bats. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. Like they're flying in from there and going back out. I don't know. Um, got some spiders there. I put the little skeleton hand on my roses. Got these bats hanging down. I got the garland up. And I'm trying to decide what I wanna do with these extra spiders. I don't know if I wanna put the spiders like around this web just to kinda of make it a little more full. And then I have this leftover garland. I ended up cutting the garland. So I think I'm gonna stream this garland around this pole but I need Vaughn's help to do that. So I gotta wait for him to get home to do that. So I don't know. And then I have this guy. I think I might just tape him to the fridge or something. I don't know. It was supposed to go on that, but it fell off. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, this is pretty much it, huh, Abel? Then I put my pumpkin right there I don't know it got a little bit more in the spirit of the of the holiday just a little just a little bit so I'm gonna figure out what I want to do with those spiders maybe I'll ask Vaughn when he gets back what he thinks I should do and yeah but I mean I'm decorated I put everything up I'm pretty happy with it we'll see <laughs> we'll see what Vaughn thinks when he gets back but yeah, I guess it wasn't like the most exciting <laughs> uh, decorating video, but you know, it's what I can do at the moment. I, I think I just need to kind of get back into a routine. I've kind of been out of whack a little bit and I wanted to actually, this wasn't initially supposed to be in the video, but I just wanted to say like, Thank you to everybody who's reached out to me and has like talked about, you know, what they've been going through with their parents. I know there's a lot of people out there that relate to me and what I've been going through with my mom and I really appreciate it so, so much. But I do wanna address some things. I've had people kinda, some people, it's very few, but I just wanna like put it out there. Um, what I've been going through is my story, it's my journey. And for a long time, like ever since I was little, I've been protecting my mom and not talking about what's, what my home life has been like. Like, I've been going through so much since a child that I just kept locked inside because I wanted to protect her. So I had good reasons to stay quiet about her alcoholism. But now that I am able to speak about it, I, I'm going to speak about it. I used to be so ashamed and so embarrassed by my mom's alcoholism 
and it's taken a really long time for me to get to a place where I can actually talk about it. And my mom would not be upset with me talking about her disease and how it's impacted me. Because it's my, I'm allowed to tell my story. I'm allowed to talk about what's going on in my life. I'm allowed to be vocal about things that have been done to me or things that I've had to work through. I'm allowed to talk about those things. And I'm not trying to make my mom look like a bad person. I'm not trying to make my mom seem like an unfit mother. None of those things. I'm not trying to make her seem like anything. I'm just saying this is what I've gone through and this is what I'm continuing to go through at the age of 27 where I've been essentially a parent to myself since I was very young. And I've been emotionally and mentally taking care of my mom since I was a child. The weight that I've had to carry from seven, eight years old to now has been unbearable at times. And now that I'm in a place where I can talk about it and I can be honest with myself about, about it, I'm gonna talk about it. Like there, there's, I, I've been protecting her for so long that it's come at a detriment to me. Because, I, and then I have people saying, you should be grateful that you have a mom to take care of. Yeah, I have a mom to take care of. I love my mom. But it, it, that's not my job to be a parent. It, it wasn't my job to parent myself and parent my mother while I'm going through middle school and high school and being financially responsible for my mom since I'm 21 years old. That's not a normal thing. And I'm allowed to speak about it. I'm allowed to say that really sucked that I've had to, to deal with this. And it sucks that I'm still having to you know, cope with everything that has happened to me because of my mom's alcoholism. I didn't make the choice to like, I don't know what, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting like <laughs> a little upset. I don't know, I just, I'm allowed to talk about what's going on in my life and I'm allowed to say, like I love my mom more than anything in this world and I will still continue to protect her and take care of her until I'm in the ground. Like that's not what this is about. I'm allowed to say this is really fucking hard and I'm tired. I'm allowed to say that. I'm allowed to speak my mind and I'm allowed to be open about what's going on because it's affected me greatly. And I will like I, I i think some people like and maybe people have like nice intentions but it doesn't come off like that because it comes off judgmental like i should just be grateful that i have that i even have a mom to begin with i have a mom as a figurehead like i have a mom but my mom was not a mom to me for the majority of my life because she was dealing with her own battles so i was my own mother i was taking care of myself because I couldn't tell people at school, I couldn't tell my dad, I couldn't tell my granny, I couldn't tell people what was going on at my mom's house that she was drinking so much and not eating and like there's all these things going on in my life. I wasn't able to talk about that because I knew that they would take me out of that situation and then there would be no one to take care of my mom. My mom would be on her own. So I made the decision as a child to keep all of that locked down, to keep all locked inside and not speak about it because I knew that I was stronger than my mom in, that, in those moments and that she needed me. So I just took it all on and I shouldn't have had to take it on as a child. I shouldn't have had to lie for my mom. I shouldn't have had to, um, pretend like everything is fine. I shouldn't have had to do that. And I'm allowed to talk about that. I shouldn't have had to be a parent to my own mother, but I was, and I'm allowed to talk about it. It doesn't mean I love my mom any less. And it doesn't mean that I'm putting all of her business on blast because there's a lot that I could say 
there's a lot more that I could say. There's a lot of things that God knows I want to say, but I won't because I'm going to still continue to protect her, but I'm allowed to talk about my feelings going through what I'm going through because it's my journey. It's my life. And that's it. Like, and I hate to sound all crazy and like be so defensive, but like, I'm not going to be silent about my traumas anymore just so other people can be comfortable. I'm not doing that. I'm not. And I will, like I said, I will take care of my mom financially, emotionally, whatever I can do to keep her together until I'm no longer. I will always take care of her. I will always love her. I love my mom more than anything in this whole world. I wouldn't still be taking care of her and taking on all these extra things for her if I didn't love her, if I didn't have her best interest. But I'm allowed to say shit sucks right now because I'm dealing with somebody else's problems instead of my own. I'm allowed to say it, okay? And you all are allowed to tell your story you're allowed to share your trauma. You can, you need to do right by yourself. And that's what I'm learning to do. Speak up for myself and take care of myself because I deserve to have a happy, healthy life. And you all deserve to have a happy, healthy life. Me carrying all this trauma and all this burden has slowed me down in a lot of areas of my life. And I don't want that anymore. I want to live my life for myself and make myself happy because for 97% of my life has been living for other people and taking care of other people that I forget to take care of myself. So if y'all are interested and I, I, I have some things in the works right now, I'm I want to be putting videos together because I want you guys to know more about me. I feel like you guys know a lot of like the surface about me. You know little things about me, but you guys don't really know everything. My friends don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things that I haven't even told my friends that I haven't told and I probably won't tell y'all, but I'm just saying like I've had to keep so much locked in and I want to be freed from that. So if you understand and you get it and you want to follow along that journey and with me, I'm so happy. And I love you guys so much. I love all of you. You guys are um, overwhelming majority of you guys are so supportive and so kind. And I like I could not ask for for more like I really couldn't. But I just want to say, like, if you don't like what I have to say, you do not have to be subscribed to me. You do not have to watch my content. You don't have to. If it's too heavy for you sometimes, I get it. But this is my channel and I'm allowed to speak on what I want to speak on. And I'm allowed to speak on what's happened to me and what I've had to deal with. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Because I deserve to get my story out there. I deserve to... I don't know. I... I I'm rambling on and on and on, and this wasn't even supposed to be that kind of video. I just had to add it on to this because I just, I want you guys to know that in order to live in, like you, how do I say this? I don't know. I want you all to be happy and fulfilled in your lives. And if there are things that are holding you back from living a happy, fulfilled life, Speak on it, cut it out, do what you gotta do. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys so much and I want you to take care of yourselves because I'm finally taking care of myself and it feels so good. So, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah.